Hey my friends, welcome to Joey's Tech. In this video, I will show you how to install Kiwi in Visual Studio Code. It's a three step process and the process is very simple. So let's begin with step number one, which is to create a Python project folder and open it in Visual Studio Code. For that, we are going to click on file and then click on open folder. Now I want this folder to be created on desktop. Hence, I'm creating it on desktop. You can create this folder wherever you want. So to create the folder, I'm going to click on new folder and then I'm going to type the name of the folder. So it will be K underscore VS code. Let's hit the create button and you can see that K underscore VS code has been created. Now I'm going to click on the open button to open it in Visual Studio code. You can see that the folder has been opened in the Visual Studio code. Let's create a file main.py, which we are going to use to test the installation of the Kiwi library later. But now let's jump on step number two, which is to create a Python virtual environment. To do that, we are going to click on terminal and then click on new terminal. Over here, we are going to type the command to create a virtual environment. So it will be Python 3 hyphen m v n v and the name of the virtual environment so let it be k underscore v n v i'm gonna hit enter now all right if this command doesn't throw any error that means virtual environment is successfully created all right it hasn't it hasn't thrown any error and i can see that the virtual environment k underscore v n v has been created now we are going to invoke this activate executable within the bin folder to activate this virtual environment to do that we are going to write source dot forward slash k underscore v n v forward slash bin forward slash activate i hit enter and you can see that the virtual environment is active now we are going to jump on step number three, which is to install Kiwi in this virtual environment. We are going to install it using pip. So the command will be pip install Kiwi. Let's hit enter. All right. So we can see that it has successfully installed the Kiwi library. Let's check by running the command pip list whether Kiwi appears. All right, it does appear. Now we are going to write a simple import statement in main.py file and execute this Python script to check whether Kiwi has been successfully installed. So the statement will be from Kiwi dot app import app. I don't know why there is a yellow line underneath Kiwi dot app. Why it's not catching Kiwi? Oh, 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 the secret lies here. I think somehow I have selected this global Python interpreter. Rather, I should have selected this recommended one. If you see, it's from the virtual environment. Let me select this one. All right, it's gone, it's gone. And now if I run this program, which only has one line of code, it should be successful. All right. Oh, sorry. Again, I have made a mistake from Kiwi dot app. I should have imported app rather than Kiwi. Very sorry, guys. All right. You see this time it's successful. So this proves that we have installed Kiwi successfully in a virtual environment that we created just now. K underscore V N V within this python project folder k underscore vs code i hope you noticed that whenever you get module not found error after you have correctly installed the library it may be because you have selected the global interpreter by mistake rather than the correct one like i did in this video so with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed learning how to install kiwi in visual studio code from this video of joey's tech I'll see you in the next video of Choice Tech. Till then, goodbye and take very good care of yourself.